right, so we're gonna talk about some Western Swing stuff here. I'm Andy Wood with Jam Play. The Western Swing thing had a massive influence on uh, country music, the country music that I love, the country guitar players that I love, and my playing uh, especially. It has so much in common with jazz. All these guys listen to the same stuff, you know? You can hear the, the little outside lines. <laughs> those kind of little chromatic things that bounce around. Obviously the amount of swing that these guys put in their playing. Uh, those kind of lines that happen in George Jones records. It, especially in the Bob Wills thing, you had that kind of comping that was... Uh, a lot of those like six slash nine chords, those kind of things, you know. What I think of is happy and bouncy kind of sound. That's coming from a lot of major harmony. And then the only time that, that flat seven's used is to lead us down to the four chord. And a lot of the other licks that we're hearing, it's got this minor pentatonic sound, like the country, the, the telly thing. That's kind of in the in the in the main uh, formula for that stuff, right? This you you're not wanting that. You want more of this major seven sound. Now when I go down there to that G, that's when that voice leads us down to D, and we start playing over that stuff. Get some altered things that happen around. The basis for this comes from fiddle players. Things that fiddle players would do would be like a... Like all those kind of double stop things that they would play. So when you're listening to this kind of music and you're trying to play it, the first place to start is just get your fingers used to playing a lot of closed notes. There's not a lot of open string runs happening in this. There is a lot of arpeggiation of things, right? So let's just go through. The way I would think of it, I actually shift my hand. I play. I actually play a lot through the major scale outlining that nine. Right, that kind of sound. So let's continue up. And one of the things that you hear those guys do all the time is play that ma my major third to minor third thing. They start solo. That's one of the iconic lines to me in, in Western Swing. Right? That's very much a fiddle thing. takes you right down to the four chord of the change. Yeah. So let's play that line slow. And now, look what happened. We played that same little lick. And that's got us really, really rocking on that, that D7. Now, Instead of just playing a five chord on this turnaround, like we've been doing, these guys are gonna play a few more changes. They're gonna work what we call that swing shift, and they're gonna go F sharp, Dom, B Dom, right? E7, and they treat each one of those as its own dominant chord. Right? So you get this kind of. That has a really great sound. All right. So one more time, playing through like the, the Western Swing style blues. Let's take it a little slower. Two, three. Right, so those are some fun, simple ideas. 
on how to navigate that blues. If you heard me play, right, I'm just arpeggiating, making sure everybody hears that F sharp, right? There's my B7. Or we can go up to the, the E right here. One of my favorite things that I hear those guys do is on those uh, tags, they'll give me something like this. Right, so that's a fun little trick. Taking that four chord, right? Now we're gonna augment it, right? So that's a fun sound. Use some triplets that we talked about in the other lesson. Right, some double stops. Pretty swinging outro right there. One of the things I like to do on that A is uh, take that E note, step it up a half step, and that leads us to our four chord. And get this kind of sound. So all of that condensed down, you know, this isn't a Western swing lesson. These are just some great ideas you, that, that you can implement into your playing and then have some Western lick-isms kind of seeping in. You know, take a note, step it back, go to that altered harmony that we talked about at the beginning of the lesson, beginning of the series, and, and use some pull-offs. That's a really classic Western swing lick right there. So you can even you can even apply that to a country solo that's coming in really hot. You know, and then and then you're off to the races into whatever you want to play. Right? If you gotta play something kind of swing. You can also take the chromatic ideas we were talking about earlier, swing those, and then you've got a whole library of licks in that. All right, you see me navigate using the tools that I've taught you in the previous lessons, I'm trying to navigate implying thirds, I'm trying to navigate using the chromatics that we talked about, I'm trying to make everything come together and show you that these influences, they, they jump in and out of all the different idioms of, of country guitar. And uh, I think that there's some tools here that, that might help you out if you're looking to expand your vocabulary and, and sneak in some of these Western swing moments. So, you know, find your tones like your third and, and your fifth and alter those tones. And then that leads you, that, that happens to help you in your voice leading. With this, you gotta be aware of the technique. This is a lot more alternate picking. It's not, not a lot of hybrid playing, uh, especially some of the faster stuff. Uh, and then, tune like that requires a lot of alternate picking, really strict stuff. You gotta have a lot of articulation. You gotta sit down with a metronome, play this stuff, make sure you're swinging the rhythm, and then uh, have fun with the harmony, and I think you're gonna enjoy some of these uh, licks and, and tips, and hopefully it'll take your playing to the next level.